Hi friend, how are you? Today I discussed about the substation maintenance and operation. Its abbreviated form is O and M. In the substations, one of the most important work is maintenance. Maintenance works are usually done by the maintenance staff of the substation. But in some critical cases or selected cases, an authorized contractor of WBAC TCL or company persons of the equipment which to be maintained are perform the desired job. The designation of the maintenance staff are junior manager, junior engineer, linesman, foreman, somic, etc. In a substation, the four type of maintenance work are carried out. The first is the preventive maintenance, breakdown maintenance, seasonal maintenance and transmission line patrolling. Seasonal maintenance has two parts. One is the pre-puja maintenance and other is the winter maintenance. When there is any equipment is going to be damaged, as per example the oil leakage in the current transformers, oil leakage in the breaker, isolator, contact etc. It is suddenly noticed by any staff, shutdown is taken and prevent the equipment by repairing or replaced by new one. Thus it is called preventive maintenance. When an equipment gets damaged, shutdown is taken and it is repaired and replaced by new one, it is called breakdown maintenance. During the maintenance, the surrounding equipments of the breakdown equipments are also checked. The normal load demand suddenly rise on the puja festival days. So there should not occur any load shedding or power interruption. As all the equipment in the substations are needed to give an optimal performance without any defect or hazard. Thus a maintenance is required to check the equipment throughout the substation. It is called pre-puja maintenance. In the winter load demand decades, thus there is a chance of shutdown the transformers and its related other bay to thoroughly maintenance. It is called the winter maintenance. In this maintenance, circuit breaker chamber, fixed contact, etc., CRM test, 10 delta test, contact resistance test, silica gel of the transformers and other equipments should be checked and changed. Spring charging arrangements is to be cleaned and checked if necessary. And also, also the fourth is the line patrolling. So the line patrolling is also an important part of the maintenance. So we calculate the Megar value of the equipments, we calculate the tan delta value of the equipments, we calculate the CRM test, contact resistance test, we will, uh, if uh, any defects or uh, confusions has arised uh, to our mind or engineer's mind, so the testing teams uh, should be engaged for the testing of the transformers. Now I discussed about the operation of the substation. The operation job is an important work in a substation. For 132, 33, 11, 220, 400, 765, 1200 KB, all type of substations. The person who are performed this job are called operating personnel or operator. An operator may be different designation, grade 3, grade 2, grade 1, junior engineer, assistant engineer, divisional engineers as per the requirements and as per the situation is concerned. So an operator should have to follow the main duties to monitor first the to monitors and control the power flow throughout the 24 hours in the substation. 
when there is any hazards occurs in the substation their duties are to take necessary step first the second to note down the data's readings every hours in the logbook tod meter reading book the overall condition of the substations must be right in the system book after the end of a shift third to give the shutdown for maintenance repairing work to any recognized and authorized person of wbac tcl in case of 33 kb line the authorized person must not below the post of linesman or any authorized contractor of the company but in the case of the 25 kb or 132 kb line it must not below assistant engineers of the substations with the permissions of the sldc state load dispatch center fourth to opening and closing of the circuit breaker in any bay in case of any shutdown or breakdown purpose in normal 33 kb bay or transformers bay it is done as per the requires meant but in the 132 kb and 25 kb line instant permissions or pre arranged permissions of the sldc is necessary when the transformer steeps due to buckles relay or differential relay action before charging it must be informed to the sldc before opening or closing of circuit breaker automatically it is an essential duty to check the respective breaker spring charging circuit trip circuit is okay or not and should we go to the switch yard to check and verify any hot spot point has been occurred or any abnormality has been at the substations the particular bay fifth to inform the assistant engineers or maintenance staff if any problem or hazards occur in any equipment or systems or any official works sixth to opening or closing isolators breakers manually and to changing the tap of the transformers in remote control or sometimes manually when spin charge fails it is to be done manually to communicate with the related substations or the power plant in plcc or to write the message of any shutdown breakdown relay flags in the message book mostly it is very very important so friend today we discussed about the operation and maintenance of the hv ac substations for the gis substations and for the ais substations also gis means gas insulated substations and ar insulated substation ais means so friend if you are interested to see my video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updated technical video and obviously share my video with your friends colleagues for the more subscriptions because that subscriptions will enhance uh, my encouragements to do the more video please do subscriptions and thank you for watching my video thank you very much friend